I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yearnings. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day, try to be fine. So you guys, I'm at work now, and I want to unbox this. Okay, let's see what is inside here. I got this yesterday from Anonymous, alongside with the cake. And let's just unbox this. Uh, first of all, yeah, Ellen Jewelry. You guys need to stop covering your brand name because I really don't know who sent this. But let's just see what it's inside. Um, uh, <laughs> so it says, Hey, baby girl, it's been crazy lately, but I just want to remind you that it's you and I together forever, regardless of the distance. I am sorry, and I love you, chocolates. So, this is from my best friend, Gloria. Uh, and this is a brand, like a uh, branding from Ellen Jewelry. When I got this yesterday, right, I only thought of two people because I've been patronizing this brand for the longest. I think since two years now, I've been patronizing this particular brand. Especially last year when I was in Dubai. And anytime I want to buy stuff for people in Nigeria, I always buy from this brand because they are very swift with delivery and their packaging is nice, even though I'm surprised that this is called Rainier. But I love their stuff. And this morning I was telling my um I was telling someone that only I'm thinking of only two people, which are Steve and Gloria because they are the only two people that I introduced this brand to and it's crazy because I and Gloria I don't know what exactly is wrong I don't know what is happening with her I've sent people to reach out to her Gloria is my best friend guys and she's currently in Canada I know for a fact that something is going on but I'm not so sure of what exactly it is do not call me on my birthday which was quite unusual, but I wasn't even mad about that because deep down I knew that something was off. I sent her a message. Listen, all of that is not even important. I love you, Gloria. I love you so much. And I really hope that whatever it is that is happening, that you get through it and you can always, always talk to me about it. I miss you so much and honestly lately i've been thinking of coming to canada because i just want to be sure that you're fine i literally had to send people to reach out to her that like, please help me check up on my friend it's crazy and it's so unusual but you know thank you so much i've not even seen the vibe this is me just rambling but oh my god thank you this is from ellen jerry I'm literally going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm a hot girl. We don't do that here. I'm a hot girl. So you guys, this is a picture of us together. Our last photo shoot together. This is it. And this is, I guess, a favorite picture from the photo shoot I did in Ibadan. Um, and here it says, together forever. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to react. <laughs> but I love this. Because my eyes are feeling me so badly, so I'm trying not to cry. I love you, Gloria. I love you so much. And this one, I'm going to put this in my house. I'm literally going to keep this in my house, guys. I really hope you're fine. I really, really hope you're fine. I love you, girl. Clip, buddy, clip, guy.
got it. Jive on it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone. <laughs> You can go and stop playing games, playing games I know you see it in my life and I'm on your mind and that You want this back Let's get to work I'm just trying to match your words with your actions I need more than satisfaction Did you really feel that action? Really wanna give your I know what I found out Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah It is Friday and I am super duper duper excited about this weekend, okay? I don't have anything planned out to do. Copyrights. I don't have anything planned out to do, but I'm just happy that, I mean, the week is over and, you know, I get to go back home and actually, actually have a good rest because this weekend I am definitely not doing anything. I don't have anything planned out even though i want to go to church on sunday i plan to do that this sunday i think i'm going to go to harvesters it's just close by or i go to i don't know there's one at lbs i'm going to go there i'm not sure which one to go to yet but i'm going to church um yeah i have a different you know different part of church okay so just in case you're wondering i've not been to church in like how many Yes, now. So it is not in your place to tell me what to do. No, but you go tell me what I go do. Okay. With that being said, I am super excited about it. Okay. Anyways, I want to go downstairs to get some fruits and I want to buy some fruits, not get. Okay. I want to buy some fruits and yeah. I still want to know. Let me tell you. What's it up? Do you want to? Oh, the Bentley. The Kelly. Ride the boat. I know people. Die for nothing. What's it gonna be? She was gonna be. Oh, the baby. The girl that ride the women. I know we. Different things that are happening. Schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. You are like the ocean. Port, I'm paddling. Shara, she my fella, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trains. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. We got the new streets, you are not my mate. If you become a shop, I'll be here to stay. But my people then go say, I don't want buy. I don't want to die. I don't want to I want to enjoy. I want to jump life. I want to buy motor. I want to build house. I still want to know. What's it going to be? Do you want to go? Oh, do you want to go? I'm so proud of myself. Today is Friday, 13th of October 2023. And today happens to be a very, 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 very blessed day a day full of testimony a day full of excitement i've literally not had the cost to be moody today it was just positive the whole day not knowing that three good news were coming forth I and mean, okay four good news were coming forth number one is yechi got distinctions okay i'm watching that right now and duma which i saw in the afternoon guys literally i literally screamed in my meeting i was like yes my boss was like, Susan, are you okay? I said, yes. So my sister got engaged. Like, if you know me so well, you know that I love, love, love Dima a lot. Here. I love Dima a whole lot. And that news just made so much sense to me because the past three days, Dima has been posting back to back to back to back. Dima is not someone that posts on a, you know, Instagram feed. 
that much. This man could go there. She could go a whole month, two months without posting anything on her Instagram feed. But she she's always like updating on Insta story. But this Instagram feed was just coming pa 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 pa. Then you say no. Are we safe though? I literally had to put a comment under one of our last posts. This one Dima has been posting back to back. Are we safe though? And only for her to post it today that she got the ring. I was so happy guys. Like I was so happy to the point that I started having goosebumps. Like the excitement was just so glaring. I'm so happy for her. And now I'm watching Yechi. Yechi got distinctions in a master's degree. Um, Yechi traveled to the UK last year. September 8th to be precise. I can never forget that day because I was monitoring her status. But she did not really post anything on that day. It was later, and it was on my birthday. It was later, I think it was like a few days later. Because she did not really like hide it like other people would do, like post after one month. No. Yet she posted after a week or so. I don't think it was even up to a week that she's in the UK now. And she said she traveled on the 8th. And then I remember that I asked her then that like who helped her with her travel processing and she said it was travel links which i have successfully used for you know two of my no three of my clients two of them are going to be graduating very soon i think they graduated already they're just going to get their award about next year honestly i am happy for her for someone that studied engineering i think she went to convenient university see people that i really really love i know them like like i know what they tell us do you get not like i know her know her but what they tell us it always sink in my head i know that yet she went to convenient university and she studied engineering i don't know if it's chemical or something i think it was engineering something and she she now studied um digital marketing in in the uk for a masters which if i eventually happen to study or <laughs> I'm going to go for my master's. That's what I'm going to study. Honestly, that's what I'm definitely going to study. Meanwhile, the video also welcomed twins. Okay, it wasn't the one who posted it, even though we knew about this since like last week. Some of us knew about this since last week. Because I'm in a particular group of, you know, bloggers that we post. They post. I don't post shit there. They post about, you know, latest gossips and the ones that are inside influencer stories and all that good stuff i saw the video no i saw a post about it last week that the video welcome to twins i think it was last week or two weeks ago i know the news insta blog later carried it was it insta blog i know there was one blog that picked it up then but they never posted the video only for some clips to post the video today Meanwhile, it wasn't Sapclair that first posted that video the video was already on twitter yaba left already posted it on twitter I don't know who linked it, but somehow the video got out and the video had to blast <laughs> Anyways, that's a cup of tea. Okay, these three people that I just mentioned, I love them a lot. And today has just been a productive day. I'm super duper happy that, you know, the job that I thought I wasn't going to enjoy, I'm lucky enjoying it right now. I'm thankful for growth. I'm thankful for everything in between. Today has been great. Anyways, um, I'm going to work right now. The time is 6 30 pm and i'm going to be walking now i'm the only one in the office so i'll talk to you guys much later <laughs> i feel so happy today is a good day it better end with good things because on your way me wait this time around then subunga. you guys the time is literally past 8 pm past 8 pm and i'm just about to leave and i just remember that i did not have my lunch because Obviously, my boss sponsored my lunch. I was trying to um, make the graphics for because we have a meeting on Monday. So I was trying to finish up with the. We're having a sales. I'm trying to finish up with that so that my boss can, I and my boss can present it to the client on Monday. I'm leaving now. Hey! Traffic as you line up. Hey, hey. hey guys, I finished those biscuits. Hey, I had a chocolate biscuit that I found in So I'm going to pack my food back home and I will eat it when I get home. I want to get a lunch box. Please don't, don't tag me. Hello. Don't come for me. It's not my fault so that I am mobile. Okay. This one will be here and bam take one for the road 
front of the laptop. Let's get it, Lagos. Hi guys, it is Saturday afternoon and I really have nothing to do today. I'm just here waiting for the caretaker or the landlord to show up because the walls are going back to factory settings. Okay, and it's pissing me off because I'm supposed to create a content today, but I cannot even do all of that. This place is noisy, but we're just gonna use it because I don't want to turn up the fan and there's lights. I'm going to church tomorrow. And I'll update you guys. I actually want to get to Aja Markets because I need to send something down to my parents, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. And yeah. I'm going to church today. Ah, hey, miracle has to happen now. Miracle needs to happen. Are you sure? <laughs> Going to church. God bless. God Jesus. Jesus. Oh, one back from now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that one don't melt. It don't melt. Small. Give me the one which is strong. Okay. If I tell you guys that I bought all this meat for 1,000 naira, you will not believe me. This is 22 pieces of meat. And I'm about to cook um popcorn soup, okay? So guys, I just got back home and I want to end this vlog here. I just want to say something, yeah? If you think that working in Lagos is 9 to 5, that means you are living close to your office. Because that's the only time that you actually experience the 9 to 5. Okay, for instance, yeah, I, I wake up by 4.30 a.m. every day, like every weekdays when I'm going to work. And I close by 5, sometimes I close by 6 p.m. And then I have to enter the traffic. My office is at Mara. I'm living at Aja. If you stay on the island, you understand the distance. It is not a far distance, trust me. When there is no traffic, it is just a 20 minute ride, okay? But when there is traffic, if you don't spend three hours or close to four hours, some days I spend more than four hours. Working in Lagos is five to eight. Or let me say five to nine. Since it's nine to five, right? Five to nine. Because I just go back home. Like I'm literally just getting, you can still see the sweat and how oily my face is. I literally just entered my room okay you can see the time i just go back inside by 8 40 pm on some very bad days i get back to the house by past nine as at yesterday yeah yesterday i got back by to 10 okay i got back i was really down my mood was already shattered so i said let me play music only for me to open the thing and i could not remember the title and you know it spoils my mood because I was supposed to call my sister. I already died her number, only for me to remember that, oh, she's late. Then I had to end the call and, you know, I busted in tears. That was around 2 10. So I went to shower, I slept off, I did not even have dinner. Wake up again this morning by 4 30 and I'm out of the house already by 5. It is crazy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Lagos Life. This is the life of a. Nigerian girl living in Nigeria.
okay um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and you know all that good stuff share this video if you can i would really appreciate it share it so people would know the hustle of living in lagos meanwhile let me just tell you guys i saw a i don't know i don't call everybody my friend but i, I saw this person um where i was waiting for the bus and he came there he drove past and he, he reversed me i wasn't even sure of who the person was i thought it was one of these you know private cars i want to pick off people and i was like hey susan it's been a minute when did you get back to nigeria blah 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 all that complimentaries i'll be all that what do they call that thing uh greetings sha is how i went past and baba was like where are you heading to i said i'm going to aja only for him to say i want to jump the bus i'm like e yes and he just had this very sarcastic laugh which was really irritating because i knew where he was heading at so there's this mindset that nigerians have that as a person that that have traveled out of the country and back you're not supposed or you're not expected to jump on a bus because they assume that you have this bastard money that you're supposed to spend on buying a car it's not like i cannot afford a car but is that a priority right now and that's why you see so many people being pressured into doing stupid things that they're not supposed to do you can't pressure me <laughs> before i do something in this life like i am 26 and i'm not one to come and start playing around my life i have other things to do i have a lot of things to do so i cannot be bothered about how somebody else is living their life how somebody else is not living their life i'm not moved by all of that i'm not moved one bit honestly why this whole thing pissed me off a bit is just that i'm just like it's just like, are you okay? Were you not jumping bus before you got this car? Which I know for a fact that the car does not even belong to him because I know this guy so well. And one thing people don't know is outside this country, yeah, there's nothing like classism. There's nothing like all this pressure. People don't really care about it outside the country. I was in Dubai and trust me when I tell you that I've seen very rich people, people that are financially stable. They jump on buses. These buses are like, how much? two dirhams one dirham like rich people jump on buses so why is it a problem in nigeria in my own country there's a problem oh. for me i'm not moved by all of that i'm just tasting it that if you people want to be doing all that pressure bullshit please don't bring it close to me please everybody have what they are battling with <clears throat> please i'm not sure he's going to see this video but i know he used to watch my videos once in a while please and please don't ever bring that bullshit to me again, please. If not by car, I'll go to Ibadan, pick one of my pop scam, bring it down to Lagos. But who is going to be footing bills for maintenance? Have you put this to reason where? But then I wouldn't blame a lot of people because most people in this Lagos do not even buy the car by themselves, so they could not really relate. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Always remember to love what you do, do what you love, be yourself, love yourself, and believe in yourself. I remain your favorite girl, Susan Adike, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.